you got a lot off your chest afterwards. Do you, do you feel like you got your point across? I hope so. I hope so. I don't know what else I have to do. I hope I did. Do you really want to fight on this card? You said that right after your last win. Were you kind of hoping, I mean, I know you said you wanted to be on the main card. Were you hoping you'd get a bigger opportunity than, you know, no disrespect to Paul Reyes, but not the biggest name, you know, the prelims. Like, were you happy you got on the fight, on the fight card, but maybe not so happy with the, you know, the level of competition? Um, exactly. Uh, I, I, it came to a point where I couldn't get any of the top guys to, to, to fight me. A couple of we had we had I talked to Sean about a couple of them and I couldn't get it to work out. They they don't want to fight. They want us killers to fight each other, and, and so they don't have to fight any of us because they're coming up. And um, it got to a point I just did took you know what I what I had to, to to get on the card honestly so I could fight at home. And so now, what do you think happens? Like you feel like okay, I went on the mic. I said what I had to say. Now they have to give me something bigger. I mean, yeah, and hopefully I get you know a, a better promotional push as well. You know, I've uh, like we talked about on your show last time. I've uh, I was six and one. Now I'm seven and one. In the UFC. I haven't been flown out to do any events. They're they're doing, you know, um, flying all these other people out, taking them places, and doing this stuff. And they have 500 records in the UFC, and, and it's not right. And um, hopefully, I finally, you know, finally do get it. And, and yeah, I want a top 15 opponent. And um, I, you know, I'm, I'm ready for bigger things. I'm 30 years old. And my goal is to be a world champion. I, I mean, no offense to Polo Reyes, like you said, but uh, you know. The, the, the the levels weren't there, you know. It, I was, you know, I'm just I'm just better than him everywhere. Who were the guys that uh, were? You mentioned there were a couple of fighters that you were planning to fight with in Scott Party with him. I said I want the winner of Kevin Lee, Michael Chiesa, and I said that um, assuming you know I feel healthy and I do feel healthy right now. You never know after maybe a couple days, maybe I feel something coming up, but I feel healthy and I'm gonna keep my weight down. And if one of them get injured, I, I'll jump in there and step in and fight fight one of them in a heartbeat. Next next month, five weeks away in uh, o Oklahoma City, which is like a three hour drive from here, where yes, I live. Like you know, like you said, this is like your home state. I mean, did, were you expecting some sort of push for this one, or at least to be in a highlighted fight? And when some of the other fights fell apart on this card, you know, were you thinking maybe I'd get that bump up? At, at first, I was, you know, I, I was a little disappointed, but then I saw how big the pay per view was. I, I'm not unrealistic. I realize this is the biggest pay per view of the year, but then at the same time, when when Cejudo and them drop out. I was hoping, not gonna lie, I was hoping I would get moved to the main card. Um, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, cry over spill bank now. I'm just, you know, optimistic. I, you know, I've been talking to, to a couple people and they've been, you know, telling me some things. So I'm optimistic that I'm gonna get a good push and I'm gonna get, you know, finally what I've been fighting for and deserve. Do you have any idea why it hasn't happened yet? Honestly, I, I think a lot of it has to do maybe with my inactivity. You know, I've that is only my eighth fight in four four years. But at the same time, the last year and a half, I've been pretty active. You know, I have been pretty active, and I'm I'm seven and one in the UFC. I have four finishes, three first round, um, against good competition. I haven't like once again, no disrespect to Paul Reyes, but he's probably the 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 worst uh, ranked opponent that I fought. Everyone I fought has been good. You know, so uh, you know I do think it's time. Well, I talked to you know I talked to the to, to the to the new PR lady and everything, and we're okay. we're on good terms and we're making stuff work. <laughs> so I'm hoping, there? and I'm no, not at all. No, they've been very respectful and very uh, opening and listening. I'm I'm actually flying out next weekend to um, the fighters conference, so I, I should be setting some stuff up to talk to them then, and I'm I'm optimistic. And how about the actual finish? It was it was pretty damn beautiful to see you slip that punch and use your your, your reach like you have in the past. Any anything that you weren't happy about in that? No, it turned out perfect because the main thing is I didn't take any damage. Um, uh, if I now if for some reason if if Kevin Lee or Kiesa doesn't get injured or anything like that, I mean I'm not wishing injury on anyone, but if, if they do get injured or something, I'm gonna gladly step in. If not, then I'll I'll go ahead and chill for the summer and fight in the fall. My goal is to fight four times this year. I just had two fights in three months, three and a half months. So my goal is to fight in the fall and then late winter again get four fights and be ranked in the top eight by then. That's my goal. And any particular reason why those two are the ones that you? Just because, well, I was just, um, obviously, Kiesa beat me on the Ultimate Fighter five years ago. I, I wanted, I've been won that rematch, and um, uh, so so um, it just, and they're both ranked in the top 10, or top 15, you know. I, I think Kevin Lee's ranked number 11 or something like that, and Kiesa's ranked like number 7 or 8. So, yeah, it, it, the reason is they're ranked higher, you know. It's interesting to hear you say that you want them, and to also hear you kind of um, openly talk about not getting that, that push, because yesterday they got involved in a, Bit of a melee, and it's been everywhere, all over the place on Sports Center and things like that. As someone who's trying to get noticed and is having a tough time doing it, and you see two guys, you know, do that and now get noticed. What do you think of that? Does that? 
I mean, that frustrate you that yeah, it frustrates me because to be honest with you, um, uh, you know, like I said, I can't really talk about Kiesa because Kiesa, he beat me five years ago. He did beat me five years ago. Um, but at the same time, they have more losses in the UFC than I do. I'm seven and one. They're like seven and two or something or eight and two. Maybe their, their records aren't that much better than mine. And and both of them only beat one ranked opponent, you know. So, I mean, uh, uh, Kevin Lee just beat a uh, number 12 ranked guy. I believe that's his first, you know, he uh, that's his first uh, ranked guy that he's beat. And they're acting like they're Career, these people just keep acting like their careers are way ahead of mine and stuff, and it's a joke, you know. My, my UFC record is seven and one. Theirs is like seven and two or eight and two. They, their record isn't any better than mine. They have more losses than I do. In that five years' time, what's the biggest difference between the James Vick then and the James Vick now? Uh, progression, you know, I, I, I believe that I train harder than all these guys, and, and I think it's proof because realistically, I shouldn't be beating half of these guys. Like uh, two fights ago, when I fought Abel Trillo, he was a three time. A college All-American wrestler, and I took him down. I didn't even wrestle in high school. But it, you can catch people through hard work and, and taking your life serious. You know, I saw them, you know, recently just promoting, uh, uh, who was it, Yair Rodriguez, talking about how he doesn't have a life, he doesn't drink. He doesn't. Guess what? I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't party either. I, I don't have any life either. How do you think I've been able to catch these guys that have been training for 10 years longer than me? So, you know, so just hard work. That's how I'm catching them, and, and that's what it is. Someone like Mark Nikhazy, who's campaigning for a big fight, he's now left without a fight. He's a big, hard-hitting, lightweight. It seems like a perfect matchup for you now. I mean, no disrespect, but he's 2-0 oh in the UFC. That does, does me no good. I'm, if I was 25, I would take that. I'm 30 years old. I'm trying to get in the top 15 and become a world champion. Um, uh, so that, that fight really doesn't do anything for me, you know? I mean, he's 2-0, and oh and I'm 7-1, and one, you know? And if he had more fights or was ranked, then absolutely. But right now, it doesn't make sense. Do you think it could make sense by going into Europe to beat a European guy with big prospect and you go in and show yourself? Because if you're having these performances and maybe not getting the rub you think, then go into enemy territory and beat the guy that everyone's talking about. I did that I did that uh, in Australia against Jake Matthews, and it didn't do me any good. All it got me was a 33% uh, uh, tax break, or with a uh, tax cut where they took all my money, and I didn't make any money going over there. So I have no interest in fighting overseas again unless they're paying me more money. But I, but I appreciate the question. How's the, how's the cut these days? Like, I mean, it's rough. It, it's never easy. You know, I'm going to keep my weight down this, this, after this one for sure. I'm gonna, I, I'll be back in the gym probably Tuesday. I'll probably do yoga or something Monday, do, be Tuesday back running, you know. I've actually started running again. I was scared to run for the longest time after I had the hip surgery. Um, uh, so I started running again. And um, the weight cuts, it's never easy, but I work with, you know, George Lockhart. He's the best in the world, fitness VT. And, um he flies out with me for all the fights, and, and he help, really helps me uh, uh, so much. And so it's never easy, but I, I, I've never missed weight. Earlier, you mentioned inactivity. It's, it's nice to see the quick turnaround. You just fought in February. Tonight, you made an amazing statement. Um, but in the last two years, you have been relatively relatively inactive. What's the reason for that? Is it because the UFC hasn't been giving you these opportunities? They had injuries? What's, what's kept you? Actually, I've, the last two years, I've been pretty active. I, I, in the last year, I've had four fights. Now, you know, I, I did. I lost the Benil fights. Um, least, at least, but at least that was a number seven ranked opponent. It's not like I lost to a dude who's ranked out of the top 20, you know. Um, uh, but I've had four fights in the last, in the, basically the last year. So, um, so, because I fought him in June of last year, so I've had four fights in the last year. Now, before that, it was an act of just injuries. You know, I had, I, after I fought Jake Matthews, I was on cloud nine, you know, thought, you know, I'm 4-0 in the UFC. I'm about to get a promotional push. I'm, uh, uh, I got the bonus, and then I got screwed by taxes, and then I came back, had to have hip surgery, and didn't fight for a year and went broke again. You know, so it's it's a blessing to fight two times in, in three months. And just the inactivities was injuries, but, I, but I'm healthy now.